Guys, I know you guys have never seen me this rough, but I'm actually on a craft project right now and I had to go pick something up, so I decided to go record since I've got paint all over and I'm trying to um, finish up this craft project that I'm doing and I'll show you guys a picture of it um, later sometime this week. But uh, I just wanted to make a small video, you guys, about relationships and going to our parents to uh, tell them about partners and, and and our pretty much our problems you know when we have our parents in our lives we we feel like they're our pillow like like that's probably the only person that you trust you know and you want to tell them everything and you just feel in your heart of heart that they are the best person to open up to and, and pretty much discuss whatever issues you have in life in general um, with your partner and unfortunately sometimes that is a grave mistake and the reason why I say that it's a grave mistake is because sometimes we tend to tell our parents too much and then our parents start to hate our partners for example I have seen many people that they have their husband and their wives and they go to mommy and daddy and they're sitting here talking all kinds of shit about their, their partners to their parents and then they wonder why the hell the parents hate their partner and it's just like you know we have decisions in our life that we make and unfortunately when we sit here and we put this the seed of negativity into our parents against our partners or future potential husband or wife um you know you can't be so confused as to think why does my mother or my dad constantly speak bad about you know my my woman or my man um unfortunately because parents want to protect us they expect you to have someone that takes care of you like they did and people need to realize I know a lot of men and women as well that think that they should be with someone that you know cooks and cleans constantly and that treats them like mommy did you know what you had your mother in your life for a great deal of time your partner should not be your parents I am very old-fashioned, so I do believe in that a woman should be at home cooking and cleaning, but understand that we are in 2016, and a lot of women don't even cook no more nowadays. Now they just do takeouts and uh, they eat outside, so when you go to your mom and you're like, oh, I can't, you know, stand blah -de blah because, you know, she never has meal cooked for me or she never has, um, you know close kids for me well if she never has something you need to like address it but don't expect it to be there's what I'm trying to say because what you guys don't understand is that in relationships everything is 50 50 well it's supposed to be 50 50 you know what I mean like if you go to work and you're providing for the home then if I'm staying at home, then I best be keeping that house clean. I better be having dinner ready and I better be taking care of the children, you know. But, um, as I said before, nowadays rules have switched greatly. And um, now there are fathers actually that are staying at home with their kids. But um, when you go to your family members, particularly your parents, and you complain about your living situation with them, your parents are... Uh, thinking in the back of their head, well, why, especially mothers, they're thinking, well, why is she not taking care of my baby? Or, you know, why is he not taking care of my daughter? You know, things like that. And, you know, it gets very, very, very complicated and a little bit too long to be even discussing right now about the possibilities of that. But I just want to tell you guys not to do that because, you know what? The person that you choose to be with, regardless if you live with them or not, is the person that you obviously see yourself spending your life with. Okay, if you have a child with this woman, then you know what? This is this is my MO. Do not make her a mother if you cannot make her a wife. Okay, so if you have a child with a woman, at some point, 
either you a real goddamn neglectful and that's how you got her pregnant or you really like this girl enough to want to keep her in your life from over 20 something years so since you made that decision since you both made that decision you both need to not go to your parents and talk about your private lives with your parents because these are people that you're gonna be dealing with for the next 20 something years you know and you do not want that hostility at the table or the negativity or the fucking little jab comments towards you know your partner because while you're mad today tomorrow you won't be so mad and when you're not no longer mad at your partner you're gonna be in your back of your head thinking oh shit you know what the fuck's going on and you're not thinking in your head that it was your fault you know but it kind of is when you sit here and you prepare your parents against is and i say prepare because when you constantly go to your parents and you're complaining you're preparing your parents against your partner um it's one thing when you do it because in the back of your head you're just like annoyed at the fact that you're your partners who are stupid so sometimes you're on the phone and you go man this girl does this and that or man this guy does this and that you know and then you just let it go that's not preparing preparing is when you're constantly talking to your parents about your partners when you're constantly looking at your parent as someone you can run to as you're pretty much your pity shoulder when you when you're constantly doing things like that you're pretty much making your parents hate your partner. So don't be mad at the fact that your mom doesn't like your girlfriend or your wife or your dad, you know, because it can work both ways. Because you have actually set motion, set forth motion to that. There may have been a time in where they did like your partner, but now they're just like, I hate this bitch. I'm trying to look for another female for my son or my daughter because you know what? This, this person that my child is dating is a fucking has-been. It's not someone that I want to see my child spend the rest of their life with. And that person that you may be trashing, that partner, may actually be a really good person. So please, please, please think twice about doing things like that. I know it's really hard to, you know, hold things in because we trust our parents and we want to tell the person that we trust everything. But just think of the consequences and the repercussions to your actions. There could be some serious crap that can happen from this. You know, and it's really messed up because I have seen marriages of years get destroyed over, you know, the mother and the father butting in on the child's business. Um, once you decide to move out of your house and you're living with someone, you are officially an adult. And I suggest that you guys act like adults and not like children. You don't need your parents there to constantly be holding your hand. Make your own decisions and remember that you have to protect your partners. You know, even if your partner may be an idiot today, tomorrow remember that you always still love that person and that you have to protect that person just as that person has to protect you guys. Um, I want you guys to have a blessed day. I'm actually going to go finish painting my table. I finally arrived home. Well, not really, but I'm almost there. So I will be talking to you guys later. And if you guys have not subscribed, please do subscribe. I'm sending you guys these love and blessings. And please don't forget, sometimes the things you tell your parents can be detrimental to your relationship and will end up breaking up your relationship. So please think twice. Ciao.